Hi y'all, I'm Allison. Just Bennett got a makeover for Easter and it's gonna help me decide what books I'll be reading in April. At least the beginning of my list. I am going to play for five spins. Maybe I'll throw on an extra one to make sure I get a basket because the Easter Bunny left some. Now he tries his best, but you know, some baskets just aren't as good as others and that's gonna be the case up top. It could be something good or something bad that's gonna happen. We'll find out eventually. Maybe. Hopefully. And the way I get a basket is if the orange slice comes up on the wheel or if the little pointer is stuck between two numbers. All right, let's just get right into it, shall we? And find out what's going to be the first book that will be going on my list for April. Yeah, so that means it's time to spin. Are you ready? I love this game. Okay, we're going to start with number 16. And we got this cute blue Easter egg. So, go on picnic. I'm going on a picnic and I'm going in a magical forest. All right, I'm going to have to dig for this. So, I'm going to come back to it because I can't think of any off the top of my head. Okay, I think I found one. So, I had to wreck my brain. I grabbed all of my books at the same time. So, probably unwisely, I will be going on a picnic Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. This was an Owl Crate Junior special edition that I ordered years ago. Isn't it pretty? And it is definitely a magical forest. So I think this is like a divorced retelling of Beauty and the Beast, meaning it's going to start out kind of like that, the premise anyway, and then it's going to veer off and be its own little thing. So it's not a straight up retelling, but it is a dark fairy tale. There's a legendary lady of the wilds and that the king in this land had made a deal with her. The town survived and thrived, but as payoff, the woods got more sinister and darker. Fast forward, we're going to get a new ruler in the land, and Cirrus is going to have to venture into this magical forest. In fact, she's sent on the run. Her only companion is going to be a fox, a small and irritating fox, and the magic that is in her veins. So it's going to be up to her to find the legendary Lady of the Wild and beg for a way to save her home. I guess the town is going to be in trouble. All right, so this will be the first book. I'm actually really looking forward to this. It's been wrapped up in cellophane, so I had no idea what it was about. Now I know why I ordered it. Okay, first book. This is a good start. I like that. It's so pretty. I have a few spares. We've got to set us at our baskets. And let's go ahead and pick. Let's get this yellow. It's a little yellow peep. And this one is a Velveteen Rabbit. Reread an old favorite. So that'll take its spot on the board. Okay, second spin. Number 14. We're sticking in the same spot. We get this bunny hiding behind a cute egg. Jelly beans. TBR jar wheel. Okay, we have to go to the computer, pull up my spinner wheel because I have so many TBR jars, and see which one I'll be pulling from. Okay, I think the lighting is better. I closed my blinds. It felt like everything was washed out. Hopefully it improved. Okay, let's spin the wheel. I wonder which one I'm going to get. 2024 would be really cool. I actually made it. The chalice. Newish. The chalice. <laughs> newish. And it's not newish anymore. That was my first CBR jar. So the good thing is it's getting a smaller. And I think I cleaned this out not too long ago. These are books I got in 2021 when I started BookTube. Okay, let's take this one. I like when my jars come up because then I don't have to decide, which is awesome. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Do you see that? The Count of Monte Cristo. I don't have time for that. I'm going to Aurelium. I'm doing the magical readathon. Oh, no. The jury hates me. Look at this beast. Oh, I think it's a thousand pages. Oh, why did I buy this in 2021? Yeah, a thousand and 65 pages. Just a little bit of light reading. Okay, actually, I bet this is incredible. I love Three Musketeers is like one of my all-time favorite books, like in the top three tier. So I do really want to read this, but not when I'm going to school for the magical readathon. Okay, on the, on the list it goes. That wheel did me wrong. Oh, but you know what? I have an ace in the hole because when I played Bingo Maze, I got a reward. So maybe I'll use it for that at the end. It's something I can do at the end of the game. All right, let's replace that and continue on. I think after that, I deserve a chocolate bunny. This one is Color Easter Eggs. It's an activity book. That would be fun. All right, let's see what my third spin will be. I thought we were going to get the star. It heard me that I wanted a bunny. Give me the other one. Are you kidding me? Big basket to fill. I have to add a plus one. So now I have to do six spins. And I've got the kind of money crust up. This is not, not looking good for me. Okay, so we got to respin to find out what my third book is because this just adds another one. What did I do to the Easter Bunny? Okay, we're gonna... This is the bunny's not being nice to me. Oh, let's put a church. Maybe I need to, you know, ask for some help. And this one is Easter Parade. It's set in a small town. I love those. All right, are you ready for... We're redoing the third spin. Number 10, I get some jelly beans, Peter, Ta Peter Cottontail, a classic. Okay, I'm sure I have some classics that I want to. Okay, this is another one I'm going to think about. I need to choose wisely, I think. Okay, we're just going to kind of overlook the plus one thing and uh, focus on the book I need for the moment, and that is a classic. So I'm going to embrace my inner childhood and I'm going to read Peter Pan. I have this, another special edition. I'm from Barnes and Noble. So this should be fun. It is illustrated. And I don't know that I've actually ever read Peter Pan. I probably did as a kid, knowing me. And of course, I've seen the Disney movie 50 million and 10 times. So I will be adding this one for my classic. Should be short, should be fun. I have a feeling that one will get a little on the dark side too, darker than I remember. Because, you know, back in the day, our fairy tales weren't very, they didn't sugarcoat much. <laughs> they weren't above uh, scaring children, which is okay. Okay, well, let's replace that. Let's grab, what's this pink purple thing? Let's put up a little gnome. Bugs Bunny, what's up, Doc? It's gonna have a healer, a doctor, or a medical element, some kind of health related thing to the book because you know Bugs Bunny always says what's up dog get it okay we're actually now on spin four number 15 I get a pink peep I have to go to the dentist Cheat at Egg Hunt has a heist. Ooh, heist books are fun. All right, I'm having a hard time with this one. I do have a couple of options. I can continue the Heist Society. This is book two in that series. Or I can read A Million to One. 
which is one of the Once Upon a Book Club books that I got. I hate this cover. This cover is hideous, which makes me want to save it for ugly cover because I don't have many. So continue a series I'm going or do a Once Upon a... I I'm going to... I'm saving this for ugly cover. <laughs> Got to be strategic sometimes. This is the highest historical fiction on like the Titanic. Which you would think I would really want to read it, but I don't know that I'm going to have time to really enjoy a Once Upon a Book Clip. And I know this will be a fun, entertaining read. So I'm going to go for this, and it is on the smaller side. The series starts with High Society. This kind of came out the same time as the Gallagher Girls. And there is a novella at two and a half after this one where there's a crossover. The Gallagher Girls get together with this group. So... I do want to do that so I can finish Gallagher Girls, too. Oh, apparently this time, whatever they're supposed to steal, the Cleopatra. I'm not sure what it is. Her uncle, Katrina, our main girl, her uncle, he's trailing off, struggling for words. Something happens to him. But he says, we do not steal the Cleopatra, Katrina. It is, she says, cursed. He shook his head, forbidden. So... The stakes are going to be high in this one, and that is good enough for me. So I'm going to read Uncommon Criminals. We're going to have an impossible heist. And our main character is, I believe, 17. This is a YA. I remember really enjoying the first one. Okay, let's replace that with... You know what? Let's get an egg. How about one that says... Happy Easter. This one has fly a kite. Has a ribbon or banner on cover. Okay. All right, let's spin and find out which one I'm actually going to get. Number two. It gave me an egg. Okay, egg roll. Has a game, competition, or tournament. So here's a little bit of trivia for y'all. On April 22nd, 1878, President Rutherford B. Hayes opened up the South Lawn for children to do an egg roll on the White House grounds. And this tradition has, still is done up to this day. It has been canceled sometimes during World War I, if the weather was bad, COVID, but they still gather out on the lawn at the White House and do their little egg roll. It's a race. How cool is that? In honor of the egg roll, I need something with a game or a competition. And I'm going to bring back a tried and true kind of favorite, The Selection by Kira Cass. I read this back in the day. I really enjoyed the entire series. And you know what? I think I need a little glitz and glamour, some dystopian. So I'm going to read this one and see how well it holds up. It's been quite a while, but I remember it being a lot of fun. This one... Women are selected, I believe, older teenage girls, to become like a dating pool for the prince. He's looking for his wife, if I remember right. This one's on my nook, so I didn't, I didn't look at the details. I'm sure y'all don't mind, and everybody's really familiar with this one anyway. But if you like dystopian and you haven't read it, you might want to give this one a try. I, I know it's, it's a lot of fun when I read it the first time. All right, we're still not done, thanks to, I forget what it was, <laughs> but let's replace that one. Let's do, how about this pink bird? Okay, we need to spin. Number 12. Got a bag of carrots to offset all of those sweets. Easter, E-A-S-T-E-R, in title, in any order. So I've got to find those letters. Shouldn't be too bad, but it will take some scouring. Man, this was a challenge. Believe it or not, the letter S was the one that kept tripping me up, or I didn't have enough E's, which was surprising. Finally, Carolyn King came through for me. Nancy Drew saves the day once again, because... Now that we can see the title, we have E A S T E R. 
I was getting a little nervous. I was like, tell me they're all there. So I will be continuing on the Nancy Drew series, which will be fun. Make sure and get a mystery on my list this, for this month. Secret at Shadow Ranch. It's Nancy Drew. I don't need to know more than that. I know I'm going to enjoy it. I had to benefit it short. Okay, and that was six. And of course, I didn't get a basket. So we're going to force one because I deserve a visit from the Easter Bunny, right? So we'll go ahead and spin and we'll be ignoring the bottom and we'll just use those up top. Ready? That was a really wimpy spin. And it's actually right in the middle. So I just got one naturally or do I have to take two baskets? Hmm. That's it. That's a... I have to take two because I don't know which basket to pull, which means I have to respin for a stuff. I'm getting two baskets. Okay, let's spin for this one and then we'll spin for the next one. Okay, are you ready? It still landed on 16. You, you know, it could have just nudged over a tiny bit for me, but no. Okay, so we got to just loop around. That would be 15. So we take the first one, that big basket. I really hope it's a good one. Melted chocolate, trade or keep. Okay, spin it in, can trade this prompt for any other, or I can just discard it. Oh man, that's a dilemma. So that means I could, I wouldn't end up with a basket. Well, no, because I have to, I still have to, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, so far, our first one can be a wash if I want it to be. So let's replace the basket and then spin for the second one that I needed. Can I make it any more complicated? Actually, I should never ask that because the answer is probably always, yes, yes, I can. It's my hidden gift. Okay, we're going to go with, let's go with a green one. Match my shirt. Got the one I dropped. Now, I'm not showing you that because it has to be a surprise. Okay, let's spin and find out what my other basket is. Number 10, so we're taking the fifth one. Got this classic one. Okay, you ready? Spill vinegar. Over 600 pages. What the? I was klutzy, and now I gotta pay the price. You know, make those Easter eggs. Have you ever done that? Spill the vinegar? It makes a yeah, big mess. Oh, man. I got 1,600 pages just between two books. I'm beginning to think the Easter Bunny doesn't like me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to scour. I, I'm trying to look for one. That was like 601 pages. <laughs> I'm not having any luck. There's Oppenheimer. That would. Oh, that's not gonna be an easy read. I am looking forward to it, but. All right, let's go ahead and replace the basket while I, I kind of mull it over. It's going to make me blue. Maybe blue will be better for me. Okay. Believe it or not, after I scoured my shelves, I'm not as upset by this prompt as I really, as I originally was. Because, look, I can continue on in the Game of Thrones and go to A Clash of Kings. This is book two. And it is definitely over 600 pages. I should probably save it for an over seven. I'm one of my chunky monkeys. Because we come in at 729 pages. So I'm going to put part two. I loved the first book. And I have been wanting to get back into it. I just don't know that this is going to be the best month to do it. But yeah. Ready for the drama and the intrigue. And... All of it, all of it. It was so much fun. Okay, so now we're back to this. 
I might as well just go for broke. Because I haven't gotten a good basket yet. I want a good basket. The, the smart thing to do would just be discard it and go, I don't want this melted chocolate. But who can refrain at Easter in this chocolate? Can trade this prompt for any other or discard. For any other. Trade or keep. Does that mean I can pick? It doesn't say re-spin, I said it's, I can trade. So I don't have to spin, I just go up there and grab a different basket. Oh, that's scary. Because then I can't blame my wheel, it's my fault if I pick the wrong one. Oh no, it says, oh, wait, I don't have to decide. Spin at end. So I get to spin, so I can see the other one. So I can trade it for the other one, or a Discard? I, I don't. Pass me doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I trade or keep. Spin it in. Can trade this prompt for any other or discard. Does that mean I can trade one of my normals? I, I don't know what this means. <laughs> uh, I, I wonder if I still have my notes when I knit this up. Okay, I, I'm taking way too long here. We're going to spin, and then I'll figure it out. Apparently, I'm going for it. I, I'm going to gamble. All right, are you ready? <laughs> I thought I was going to get another star. Okay, number two. And I think I have to take it from the baskets. We're going to say the baskets. Okay, is this pink one gonna be good? I'm afraid, I'm afraid to look. <gasps> Join egg hunt activity book. Okay, no, no question, I, I want this one. So, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, okay, I think I know what it means. I can take this prompt, put this in in place of something else. That's what it is. Yeah, because I spin and I can keep this in place of something I already had, or I can just discard the new one. I, I think that's what I meant. That sounds logical to me. What do y'all think? So now I have to get strategic because that, you know, it gave me over a thousand, you know, it gave me a thousand page book and it gave me over 600 pages. I gotta think. I'll be back in a little bit. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pick my books. This is gonna take some brain power. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm still kind of confused by this prompt. <laughs> but I grabbed a couple of activity books. I can go with a straight up word searches based on Jane Austen's works. Or I've got this Myrtle that I got at Christmas. And these are logic puzzles, all sorts of different kind, and they're based on mysteries. You use logic and skill and the power of deduction love logic puzzles but with this being april got magical readathon aurelium i'm gonna be time blocking april's gonna you know be quite a busy month i'd probably be better off with straight up jane austen with just word searches so because the plan would be to do at least one puzzle a day for the entire month so i, I have had a lot going on i still do my brain's going to be a little taxed, so I think I'm just going to go straight up word searches and save this for a month when I can really enjoy it. So, but I'm dying to get into this. So Jane Austen will be going on, and I guess she gets to knock somebody off. Because spin it in, can trade this prompt for any other, or discard. Oh, I was supposed to look for my notes. Let me do that. Okay, luckily, I tend to hold on to papers. Okay, I did have on here, melted chocolate, trade or keep, can choose to exchange any prompted in, re-spin it, choose which one stays. Okay, so that's, dang, I thought I was going to get to use it to knock off. Oh, no, that's what I, I wasn't supposed to spin. I remember now. I actually wasn't supposed to f spin for the egg. I was supposed to choose one of the prompts from here, re-spin that, get that prompt, and then I have the choice to keep the one that I originally got or replace it with the new one. 
That's what I was supposed to do. I remember now. Okay, so that makes more sense anyway. All right, so the basket gave me a perk, basically is what it boils down to. So let's go back to the wheel, spin, and I didn't have to pick a word search. I won't be doing the activity book. Okay, let's see what we get. Yeah, all right, ready? <laughs> After we replace 12. So let's put up Let's do this little bunny. Steeple on cover. Okay. All right, let's spin and we'll go from there. Number six. Got this little chick and we get baby chicks. Has animal companion or pet. Okay, I know a book right off the top of my head because I was considering this one for the competition because there's going to be a baking competition and we've got Baby the Mastiff and I forget her name, Maddie. I was going to say Abby. She's up in a small town in Michigan trying to run her grandmother's bakery that she inherited or no, her great aunt maybe. Yeah, she's going to be trying to win the top prize in New Bison Spring Festival even though she's not experienced in the kitchen, but who cares? There's a second bakery opening up in town and the owner, CJ Davenport, is gonna cause trouble for her, especially when he turns up dead with one of baby cakes. That's the name of her bakery, his knife in his back. And I guess everybody knows that they have had a little conflict going on. So she's kind of got to solve it to keep any suspicion off of her because she didn't do it. All right, so I can take this book and knock out anything else. And you know, there's really not much thought to be had on this one because I'm looking at the Count of Monte Cristo. Like I said, I really do want to read that someday, but not during the magical readathon. So we're going to put this one in instead. That looks much better. Now, don't forget, I also have my reward. So I might be able to tweak things a little bit more in my favor. I got this from Bingo Maze, Phase 2. I have played Phase 3. I just have to edit it. And I haven't drawn for the reward yet. So that'll be saved for next time. So let's see. I had replace. At the end of the game, I can replace any prompt with newest purchase. So I could take another book off of here and put a book that I just got, the newest one. Oh, that's tempting. So I could knock off the Game of Thrones book. I really want to read that one, but I, I don't, I can't decide. I, believe it or not, I'm having a hard time deciding. I don't, I don't know if I want to replace it. So my newest purchase was Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie. Somebody had recommended this for uh, one of our Start and Stop Betty Reads, but it wasn't chosen and I've had my eye on it. I finally picked it up. It matches. Does that mean it's meant to be? Because it matches my my top. I think it might be meant to be. Okay, I'm doing it. Except I'll, I'll lose this. But I did win, so I get to... By the way, this indecision, this is why I play this game. Otherwise, I'd never pick a book to read. So I am going to replace Game of Thrones with Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie. It, it'll be waiting for me. Yeah. This is the smart thing to do. This one, we have like an 11-year-old trying to solve a mystery. And it's the summer of 1950. That'll be awesome. In Flavia de Luce, whatever, Luce, I don't know. Probably de Luce. It's an aspiring chemist with a passion for poison. And she's intrigued by a set of inexplicable events. A dead bird is found on the doorstep. A postage stamp bizarrely pinned on its beak and then hours later Flavia finds a man lying in the cucumber patch and watches him as he takes his dying breath and this is all at the once grand mansion of Buckshaw so I'm gonna read this one it's supposed to be really good and I believe it starts a series all right so this in place of Game of Thrones quite opposite I think my set just became very manageable and this is going to have to go back in the pile. It's been used. So 
So I, I don't have any rewards, but I will get one when I finish doing the wrap up for Bingo Maze. I have the beginning of my list of books that I'll be reading in April. I will be participating in Magical Readathon, a really am academy. So I'll be back with a round of one of three to find out what classes Nisilla will be taking and I will be joining with her as well as our bell schedule because I will have to read everything under time blocking. And there's also going to be the extras. Lots of stuff coming up. So I hope to see you day after tomorrow, which potentially will be Bingo Maze. If not, it will come up soon thereafter. I just noticed my battery on my microphone died at some point. So I hope y'all were able to hear me and I wasn't talking to the bookcase. I'm sorry.